Ooh, that fall weather is is here. Huh. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. I'm just here in the in my kiln room, and um, yeah, I've got some wear boards here on the side, as you can see. And um, yeah, we had a I had a, a bisque firing last night. So I just thought I'd quickly bring you in on it. I haven't got much battery left actually, but I just thought we'd have a quick look at it together. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some of these little uh, dishes that you saw me uh, doing in recent a recent clip. They they're done, and another one here, but you didn't see me do that. I did. Um, again, this is scratching through the red slip to the uh, the clay clay underneath. Now, I wonder who can tell me what that is. It's an experiment, experimental. See if somebody can. Write to me, tell me what that is. If you, if you can guess what that is, tell me. <laughs> yes, underneath here, uh, this is a GP bowl that with a, a lug on one side enables you just to pick it up, you see, and pour. Actually works quite well and it's quite a comfortable. And then what we've got here, we've got some sand. Always put sand, you see. Now that there is what you saw me do, I think in the last clip, or almost the last clip. You can see there the effect of the, that's actually the one you saw me doing on the video. But you can, you can appreciate how that is going to be kind of interesting, isn't it? With a glaze over the top, maybe a a Temaku glaze or a Celadon even, a nice glaze that uh, that breaks, you know, breaks not in smashing but in, that was the, another one, the other one that I did, you didn't actually see me do it but you can see there the effect of that with the shellac. So that's those. We've got here some, of course, we have some tankards. Wouldn't be a kiln firing, would it, without tankards? Oh, there's that little fella that you saw me do where I trailed the slip over. And I've made the little cutouts there so that the in the slip rings around to enable the, the wood ash to um flow down over as it were probably going to run out of battery in a minute folks but don't worry uh more tankers oh yes tankers and tankers and we love our tankers don't we well, potters, you see, we should be making lots of mugs. We want to make things that people can use, don't we, I think. So we want to have some things that are in... Let me put my camera on a tripod, as you, otherwise you're all going to be complaining about being dizzy. If we lose power or it finishes uh, the, the video, then you know what's happened. I've run out of run out of yeah so these guys you see packed with a little bit of silica sand in between so that they little fluted fluted bowl I've had these hanging around actually out here for a while that's kind of uh, 
done with the done with a potato peeler. Can be quite nice like that, like that. Put that there. We got a few GPs here that I've done. Uh, yeah, okay, let me just get those out of the way. I won't bother to fiddle with them. Don't fiddle, Simon, just get it out. The battery might be going. We want to see what's down below. These are some uh, beakers. They were kind of like an order. I packed these. Let me just get this shelf off here. Cone. That's a cone 05. Cone 05. So those are stacked, you see, these, these tankards, maybe you can't see, I don't know. They're stacked over there, you see on the far side down there, they're stacked three high. So you can do that kind of thing. Um, let me just uh, show you inside the kiln here. So you can see here what's going on. I've got some of these small pestles inside there. That was a little a little bottle with little dots there, wavy slip lines, etc. And more mugs. And on the bottom there, I see there's a bigger piece down there. Um, yeah, the thing you want to, to 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 watch out for is that you know you're getting the hardness of your biscuit right, the bisque, and also you know you're burning out. You want to make sure that you burn out all of the organic matter, so you don't really want to you don't want the the firing to be too fast. You want it to burn especially between about 1300 and 1650 to go a little bit slowly. This is what I'm learning anyway because I haven't always paid too much attention I'll be honest with you. Uh, I have suffered from bloating which is because of organic matter that <coughs> not been burnt out properly off the kiln. Okay folks, uh, thanks for joining us. Just a very quick peek into the kiln here and um, yeah more to come glazing um, more making I'm going to be making some casseroles and some functional kitchenware so join us for that workshops October 24th and 25th here November 7th and 8th here those are the last two workshops uh, please come and join us and if you don't want if you can't make a workshop but you're passing by then feel free drop in Maybe give us a call the day before or, or write to me. But um, yeah, come by if you're in the neighbourhood. Don't be, don't think that I won't want to see you or anything like that. Of course I will. So drop by. Hey, this is Simon Leach saying, keep practising. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye.